Hey, what's up guys and welcome to the video. Today's vehicle is a 2004 Chevy Trailblazer and some of you might be having deja vu right now, but I can assure you this is real. The Trailblazer is back after only five months. Now, if you haven't seen that video yet, I'd recommend giving it a look, but needless to say, it was one of the dirtier vehicles that I've seen and it still holds the title for being the smelliest ever. So let's take a look around and see what kind of shape this thing is in after only five months. All right, so with the owner working out of town and driving over 200 kilometers every day on gravel roads, the Trailblazer has gotten almost as dirty on the outside as it was last time, as there's a ton of gravel dust that's accumulated all around the vehicle, especially on the back end and in the door jams too. And really overall, the exterior is incredibly dirty and needs some serious work. But moving to the inside now, and unfortunately, a lot of that dirt and dust has made its way to the interior as once again, the floor mats are full of dirt and looking around and the carpets are an absolute mess again and full of stains. But if that's not enough, there's also a ton of dust and debris covering every surface in here. So the whole vehicle is going to need to be deep cleaned. But just before we jump into the detail, take a quick second and subscribe to the channel. I post a new video like this every week. So if you've got the bell on, you won't ever miss out on one. All right guys, well, thankfully it's marginally cleaner this time around, but I've still got a pile of work ahead of me to get this Trailblazer completely transformed. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right guys, so starting on the pre-wash rinse, and because I know I've seen some comments recently asking what kind of pressure washer I'm using, I figured I'd let you know quick that it's a 110 volt Bertolini electric pressure washer that pushes 1900 PSI at two gallons per minute. I switched over to it for my gas powered Honda in the winter. And if anyone's curious, the link to the site I bought it from is right at the top of the description for you. And make sure you stick around until the end of the video as I was able to record the owner's reaction when she picked the vehicle up and you definitely don't want to miss it. Now moving to the back and starting on getting all the dust sprayed off here, I figured I'd give you a little bit of background on the vehicle and the owner in case you haven't watched the original video yet. So like I mentioned in the opening, the owner works out of town as a mechanic and commutes about 200 kilometers on gravel roads every day. For those of you wondering how a vehicle gets this dirty, but also ends up in situations where dirty tools and clothes end up being inside the vehicle and is also occasionally driven on gravel with the windows down to check on fields and crops. So it does make sense that when you use a vehicle for work, it's going to get pretty dirty, but because the owner actually cares about her vehicle, she's brought it to me to keep it looking its best. And if you're wondering what I think about seeing the vehicle in this condition in such a short amount of time, honestly guys, at the end of the day, it's business for me and it really doesn't bother me at all. Now one unfortunate thing about winters up in Canada is the salt used on our roads and sadly this trailblazer has started to rust on the bottom of the door as you can see that's where the snow would build up in the winter but the owner did assure me she is planning to line X the lower door areas to keep it protected from further damage.
Now spraying out these wheel wells, and I am definitely thankful that they've got plastic liners in them, as with the amount of gravel dust this vehicle sees, it really doesn't have anywhere to accumulate, so I can get these sprayed out pretty quickly. Alright, moving to the underside here, and for any of you out there who might be wondering where you can get one of these undercarriage sprayers, I've got the link in the description for you, and I would definitely recommend picking one up, as you really can't do a very thorough job with just a pressure washer, given the limited angle that you can spray at. Now after getting some nice thick foam on the trailblazer, I'm going around with a boar's hair detail brush to get into all the places that are guaranteed to have gravel dust hiding that my wash mitt would otherwise miss. Alright, with the vehicle rinsed, I can get started on drying it, and luckily for me, Mike decided to pop out and give me a hand, and as usual, he sure was feeling the beat of the music I had playing in the garage. Major props though to anyone who could figure out what song we were listening to just based off of Mike's dance moves. Now moving to these super dirty floor mats and getting a fairly liberal amount of my carpet solution sprayed on, I'll let it sit for a minute to help loosen up those stains, hit it with the drill brush and then simply blast them with the pressure washer and just like last time, the second that I started spraying these out, my entire garage was filled with the smell of cigarette smoke.
Now on the driver's side floor mat, as I get it sprayed out, it's almost hard to believe just how much dirt was trapped in this mat. And like I've said before, with mats this dirty, pressure washing is really the only way to actually get these clean. If you tried to extract them, there is no way you would ever be able to get all the dirt out. Not to mention, it would take significantly longer to do a worse job. Now behind the driver's seat here, some of you might be wondering why the carpet is two different colors, and that's because there was battery acid spilled in the back seat that ended up running up to the driver's footwell, and it ruined a good chunk of the carpet. And when I was talking to the owner last time, she said she was planning to replace all the carpet. However, you guys can see that hasn't happened yet, but a simpler option in this case could be to use some carpet dye and at least match the color. However, that's just never been a service that I had any interest in offering. Now oddly enough, there was a purple stain in the exact same spot underneath the back seat as last time, so I'll quickly get this tire wrench holder removed as the stain was right up against it. And if you're wondering why I don't always remove the seats, it's because I only do it when it's actually necessary and can't clean up to my standards with the seats in, though in the case of this Trailblazer, there wasn't anything that I couldn't reach with the seats still in here.
All right, so getting started on these dirty seats, and even though they don't look visually dirty, I know that from the amount of dust around the interior, it's pretty likely a lot has settled into the fabric. And as I make the first few passes with the Bissell, it's pretty clear there's quite a bit of dirt hiding in them. Now, since I keep seeing comments from people asking if I clean the entire seat or if I only do the seat bottoms, I figured I would record the upper portion this time. And even though I know there's probably a few of you out there who would want to see a super long video of me cleaning every single section of the vehicle, unfortunately, those videos would be far too long and take a lot longer to film. So I do have to pick and choose my spots and I usually opt for the dirtier areas. All right, moving down to the carpets now, and for those of you who enjoy these videos and find them relaxing or satisfying, don't forget about the second channel, the Detail Geek 2. I've got lots of different types of videos over there, including carpet cleaning compilations, Q&A videos, and I recently posted a video where I detailed my personal vehicle. So if you haven't already checked it out, make sure you do, as I'm sure you guys will enjoy the videos.
Now, for those of you who are curious as to what I'm using here to do such a magical job on these carpets and seats, I've got the link to the carpet solution, the drill brushes and extractor down in the description. So feel free to check that out as all this equipment is very reasonably priced and works incredibly well, as you can see. Here's the bucket full of dirty and smelly water that Bissell pulled from the trailblazer. Gross. Now for the center console here where there's a good amount of grime built up around the gear shifter and in the cup holders, I'm opting to use the steamer and one tip I have when cleaning these areas is to make sure you move the shifter back and forth and pull the e-brake up so you can get full access to all the dirt. Moving back to the interior and with everything in here clean, I'm starting on applying 303 Aerospace Protectant to dress and UV protect the interior. And as you'll see, this process takes a little bit of time as it gets applied to every plastic surface in here, including inside of all the compartments and around the vents, where I always make sure I get the entire top and bottom of them. And even though my customers may not ever know I did that, it's just not in my nature to not do the best job I possibly can with every detail.
Alright, so once again with this Trailblazer, I'm applying some Meguiar Synthetic Sealant, and earlier during the pre-wash rinse and when I was drying the vehicle, I could tell that it had pretty well all worn off over the five months since I've seen this vehicle. So with the polisher speed set to about two to three, I'll apply a nice even layer to all the painted surfaces, which will boost the depth and gloss of this paint and really make it shine. Now to revive the look of this old and super faded exterior plastic trim, I'm applying 303 again, and you can clearly see just how good of a job this stuff does as it instantly makes the trim look brand new again. Now moving to the tires and I'm once again using CarPro Pearl diluted roughly 2 to 1 and the nice thing about Pearl is that it comes in a concentrate and can be diluted to various strengths for use on rubber, vinyl, plastics and even leather. Yeah. You just don't know how you do what you do. It's just, good. The paint even, like you just 
we bring it back so yeah. way that nobody else can. Oh, okay. I commute back and forth every day. Right. It's about two hours a day of travel, those things. Ooh. Yeah, well, good thing you got me, I guess. So. <laughs> well, thank you so much again. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's my pleasure. So. See what happens in another five minutes. I'm just <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Absolutely. <clears throat> okay. Enjoy. Can't wait to see the video. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay, thanks so much again. Absolutely. Enjoy it. <laughs> Alright guys, in 10 hours later, I'm done with the Trailblazer and it's looking super sweet again. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Enjoy the guitar outro and I'll see you guys in the next one.